Sometimes a little spray paint can make a big difference. Here we see the CH yoke and throttle quadrant with the DIY Universal Airliner cockpit enclosure. The controls are a dark charcoal gray color that contrasts with the light gray of everything else. And I don't like that. It makes it look like the controls aren't part of the cockpit. So here's our solution. We paint the throttle quadrant and the base of the yoke so they blend in better with the table and the enclosure. Again, we left the yoke unpainted and just painted the base, and we left the colored knobs on the throttle quadrant unpainted also. The spray painting is easy, but you only get good results with good preparation. Now here's our yoke, and first we're going to pop off the little knob handles. and we're going to remove the adjustable clamps also. Mask off the control shaft. Push on the back of the shaft, hold it, and apply masking tape all the way around the base of the shaft. Completely mask off the back of the shaft and mask off the USB cable closest to the housing. And stuff the rest of it into a Ziploc bag. Tape the opening so no part of the cable is exposed. And next, we'll cover the yoke grips with a plastic shopping bag. Inspect it closely and make sure there are no holes in it. Cover up the yoke, tie the bag, not, and tape it closed so no part of the yoke grips are exposed. We also taped the rubber non-skid pad on the bottom of the control base. Now we get to paint. The cardinal rule of spray painting is this. Several light coats of paint are better than a few heavy coats. So apply light coats of paint from a variety of directions and angles. We're using flat gray primer spray paint. It's very inexpensive. Allow the paint to dry for at least 20 minutes between coats. Make sure you paint in a well ventilated area. It's a good idea to prop up the controls so you can really apply the spray paint from different angles. Now, if you've never spray painted anything before, you should probably practice on something else before experimenting on your flight simulator controls. And follow the directions on the spray paint can. And by the way, this may void your manufacturer's warranty, but these controls are over a year old, so the warranty has already expired. After the last coat of paint, let it dry for a few hours. Now we can remove the bag and all the masking tape and reattach the knobs and clamps. You can even spray paint the knobs too if you want. Now this looks much better and we spent very little money on spray paint and masking tape. And we painted the throttle quadrant too. We'll do another video so you can see that. 